Now say you're a bird too. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. 20th anniversary of The Notebook this week. This How week. does that feel? A little strange, right? A little surreal. I still remember writing that novel. I was working, uh, selling pharmaceuticals at the time, and uh, we had a child that wasn't sleeping well at night, so Kathy would go to bed, you know, at eight or nine or something very early because she knew she'd be up all night. And so I said, well, I can either read or watch TV or do something. I know, why don't I try writing a little novel? And I don't know if anyone's going to like it. And six, just working in my spare time. And sure enough, there it was. Uh, got found an agent, got a publisher, and, and it hit the list. I was pretty excited. And you were inspired to write The Notebook by a true story. Is that right? That by is. real people that you knew? Can yeah. you tell me about that? Yeah, that was uh, Kathy's grandparents. They were these great couple and in many ways their story uh, in the later years well actually all the way through you know they'd met as when they were young and then they were separated for years and she gets engaged and she comes back and they fall in love and then towards the so end of her it's life really the story sure yeah. and then toward the end of her life she gets dementia and you know he's with her and uh, showing her um, actually drawings and photographs. He didn't have a notebook, but it was it was an album that he would walk her through and tell her about their lives together. And I just thought there was something really beautiful about that entire concept. And so I tried to do it um, in the notebook. And I was and there we are. There it is. Tell me more about Two by Two. Yeah, it's a story of uh, a guy named Russell Green, and he's living his life. He's married. He's got a daughter, and he decides to quit his job at an advertising firm and start his own advertising firm. And in the process of that, you have real life issues about money and paying the mortgage and how are you going to do this? Well, his wife takes a job and thus Russ is put into the role of becoming a full-time father for the first time. And of course, he was someone who loved his daughter and a, you know, she was the center of his world when he was around, but this is a guy who all of a sudden says, oh my gosh, how am I going to spend day after day? What do I do? How do I balance trying to start my own business with taking care of my daughter and getting her to tennis or getting her to piano or getting dance her to go off to dance class? She's got all these things to keep her busy in the summer. So he's really trying to juggle like single mothers have to do. And so he, I think it opens him up not only to a, a newfound respect for for that, but it, it really makes him appreciate the relationship that he has with his daughter. And of course, as this grows, it's one of my novels, so other things tend to happen. And in the end, it, I think it could be safe to say that Russ uh, goes through a very difficult and challenging year on a number of levels, but the theme of the novel rings through, and that is two by two. And the whole point of that is that as you're, as you're making your way through life, it, you should always understand that you weren't, it's not best to go through it alone. That you should always, you should go through life two by two. And it doesn't have to be the same person every minute. It could be, I'm walking two by two with my dad right now, or two by two with my daughter, or you know, I'm walking with a friend right now in trying times and joyful times. And it's that, that those one-on-one -on -one relationships, right? If you make it through life marching two by two, you're gonna be okay.